Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Obi and Tony winning actor, currently starring in Oslo, Jefferson Mays. It's an intangible quality, a pure and immediate connection with the words of one of our greatest playwrights, a total submerging, physical and spiritual, that we witness when an actor takes on a mammoth role with complete discipline and complete abandon till you cannot help but empathize. This year, an actor of that stature took us on a weird journey, and our hearts broke as we watched him lurch to his tormented end in a world of class divisions all too similar to our own. For compelling our empathy with the agonies of Yank in The Hairy Ape, the judges have voted an OB for his performance to Bobby Cannavale. <laughs> Oh, thanks. Uh, oh, I don't, I, I don't have any, I don't know what to say. Uh, 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 just know that, uh, uh, well, I'm never happier than when I'm working on a play. And, and, uh, and I've been at it for a really long time. I, I'm feeling just kind of old. Uh, um, uh, well, it's a hundred year old play, so, uh, and it's not done that often, and so I was like in shock when Richard Jones, the, really the visionary director Richard Jones, um, said he wanted to meet me. You know, he's this really kind of proper English guy, and I, I'm not, and um, from New Jersey. And so I, I, I met him, <laughs> yeah, right. And, uh, and so uh, he had this crazy idea that this play would work in the Park Avenue Armory, and. Uh, those people up there, Rebecca Robertson and Michael Lonergan and Pierre Arnaud, and I'm sure that's not how you say that guy's name, but um, he's the artistic director and he's French, and I didn't see him that much, but they, they, they had this crazy idea to do this 100-year-old play up there with me in it and Henry Stram and David Costable and Becky Baker and, um, and an incredible company and with these wonderful designers, and, um, and we did it for about four and a half weeks and it nearly killed me. And, um, and I'm really grateful to them for doing it and for the people who came out to see this 100-year-old play, which I think is a genius play and uh, a really wonderful play to be doing today. And, and I was really, really very honored to be asked to do it. And I'm really honored to be here tonight. Um, when I was 21 years old, uh, I got taken under the Lanford Wilson's wing uh, at the Circle Rep. And uh, there were many OB winners there. and, and um, and I got to work and see a lot of them work, from Bill Hoffman to Mylon Stitt to Tanya Berezin to Paula Vogel, whose play Baltimore Waltz was being done at the time then. I think it was 1993, and I was really young. And, uh, and I'm really honored to be here. I can't tell you how much it means to me to be up here. So thank you very much. Yeah.